Hi there, welcome to Bite Size Piano. In this video I'm going to teach you how to play um, Bella's Lullaby from Twilight. So this is just the piano part. So I'm going to be using the sheet music today. If you are interested in accessing the full sheet music, uh, please go see the description in the comment section below where my arrangement um, is available via my Patreon. So I'll be pulling up the, uh, it line by line um, and then I'll do a full slow run through um, right at the end. Hello, my name is Francesca and I'm the teacher here at Bite Size Piano. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already. I'd love to have you here learning from my piano tutorials. Please give the video a like if you enjoy it and that it's useful. I do take piano tutorial requests so if you would like to request one from me, stick around to the end of the video with our instructions on how you can do that. Here on Bite Size Piano, I make all sorts of tutorials, so um, go have a remote around my channel, see what else you can learn, make sure to hit the notifications bell, and I've left a few playlists in the description below to get you started. Let's dive in. So this one's in the key of E minor. So on the screen now are all the notes of the scale of E minor. So the melody and the chords are mostly formed using these notes. So here is the first line. I've incorporated the strings in the first bit. Um, so I'm just going to do the right hand first. So here is middle C for reference. And you're going to be starting with your little finger on the E, two E's above middle C. So we're going E, D, B, A, E. So the first three notes are triplet. One, two. Three, four, one, two, three, four. And then it goes into, um, I guess, the main theme. So we've got A sharp or B flat. So A sharp, A, G, E, D, G, B, A. Do that again. So the left hand, this is where we have the big stretches. If you can stretch an octave, you might be okay. Um, the first one is a ninth, obviously I know that I can stretch this um, quite comfortably. Um, but what you might have to do is split the chords like this. So like in a arpeggiated motion. And it might make that sound just a little bit nicer as well actually. So like... So the chord there, we've got A, E and B. So it goes one and two, and then you bring your thumb into A and three and four and, and again. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Or you could go. So I'm going to just slowly fit that first line together. Now carrying on in the second line, we've got that A and the left hand's doing that same thing again. Then the right hand is going to come up and play B, C. And then the left hand is going to come up and play C, G, D. And then just G and E. And then the right hand will play G, A. And then we're back to this bit again. So I'll do that line again. And then we're back to this bit again on the next line. have B, C again. The 
left hand's coming up to this C, G, D position again. And the right hand's going to go to F sharp, G. The left hand change to G and E. And then a high D sharp to E. So that little 8VA means octave higher. Um, so because I want to keep this all in shot, the next line I'm going to come down and play an octave lower. If you have the notes, I have the notes on piano, I just want to keep everything in range. I'm going to place the next bet in octave lower. It still sounds nice on octave lower, it's all the same notes, it's just not played super duper high. The high bit goes, so after you've played the D sharp to E, you would actually come up. You come right up there, but I'm going to come down here. So the right hand is going G, A, G, A, B. And then it's that high note with all the lines is an F sharp. F sharp, B, G, F sharp, E. F sharp, B, F sharp, G, B. And the left hand with that, you're playing this shape again. So A, E, B. And now we have G, D and A. And then D and B. And then C, G, C. And then move the thumb to D. Again, if you can't, if you're struggling to stretch, you just have to break up the chords like that. So I'll just fit that line together. And then the next line, the right hand's going to play F sharp, E, D, C, B, A, G, F sharp, D, B. As you can see there, that's where the octave higher bit ends, and then we have this bit again. So the left hand to that goes G, D, G, and then D and G and B. C, G, C, move your thumb up to D, and then an E, and then we have this again. So I'll put that line together. So just go to the end of this line and then I'll play through this first section all the way through for you. And this will be, I guess, the first half. So carrying on, the right hand is going to play F sharp, F sharp, C, C, F sharp, F sharp, A, B. Like this. And then the two notes at the end are the start of the next bit. So the left hand with that, we've got these triad chords. So we've got D, G, and B. So it's a G major chord. And then we have E, G, and C, which is a C major chord. And then F sharp, A, and D, which is a D major chord. And then G, B, and E, which is an E minor chord. So it goes one and two and three and four and one. So I'll just put that little bit together and then I'll play it from the very beginning for you, what we've done so far.
Okay, so on to the next section then. So we've got a different theme. So we start on the G. So it goes G, A, and then B, D, D, C, C, B, B, A, E, E, G, G, B, B, D, D, rest, D, D, C, C, B, B, A. And then the left hand, you have G, B, and G twice. One and two and three and four and and then we have C G C one and two and then E B E and then G D G and then B D B so I'll just slowly put that line together Sign. We have E, E, G, G, B, B, E, E. And now we're going to be playing these chords, these harmonic intervals. So we have B and F sharp, G and D, E and C, D and B. A, C and G, G and C, B and E, E and A. And the left hand, we have C, G, C to E, B, E, G, D, G. Move the thumb to A, G, C, G, E, B, E. <laughs> so I put that line together. right hand is going to play D and B and then we have this similar part again so G and D E and C D and B C and A E and A G and C B and E E and A, and then these singular notes, A, A, G, E, E, D, B, and it'll be A, which is on the next line. So the left hand on that line, G, D, G, G, D, A, G, C, G, E, B, E. F natural, C F, and then pivot to G C G. And put that bit together. sign. In the left hand we have A, D, A with A in the right hand. And the left hand is going to come down to C, G, C. And the right hand 
the right hand is going to play in sixths. So we have G and E. B and G with E, B, E in the left hand. D and B. F sharp and D. And then you have a D major chord in the left hand, which is A, D and F sharp. And then the next line, the right hand goes to quite high, so C and A. Again, playing in sixths, consecutive sixths again. B and G. G and E. F sharp and D. D and B. D and A. And it's back into this again. Which we've already done. So the left hand on that line, we've got F, C, F. <coughs> G, D, G. And an inversion of D major, so A, D, F sharp and A. If you don't want to add the F sharp, just play those three notes instead. If adding a fourth note in there is, is more strenuous. And then it's, of course, back to this. So I'll just put that line together. This next bit is very similar from what we've already done. But then this time we have E and B. D, D. And all this is the same as what we have already done as well, so I'll just continue. And it ends on B, E, B, E, B. So I'm going to join all of that last section, or the last half of it, together now.
that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it and that it's useful. If you'd like to leave a piano tutorial request, you need to click on this video, which takes you through to my official request space. You do need to be subscribed. All requests are noted and considered. So I look forward to seeing you over there.